In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a beatable wine stopper. So the first thing that you need is to get one of these wine stoppers. It's available on the website, myprettyposhprincess.com, and then pick out an array of beads. I'm showing you different types that I picked out. However, I would say that the smaller beads are a little bit better, although some beads are kind of hard to get through. I would avoid 12 millimeter pearls. Those are gonna be kind of hard to get on here, but beads like silicone beads seem to work really easy. They slide on quite well. But I'm gonna show you two different styles, one using all silicone and then one using silicone and acrylic. So let's start with the all silicone. I have a couple of cow beads and then I have an aqua, a white, and some corals. I thought these were really fun and really cute. The wine stopper, this just twists right out. Once you twist it out, you start putting your beads on. I've already kind of laid them out in a design that I like. Once you have the desired beads on to this, the beatable area, you just twist it right back on the wine stopper. I would recommend you hand wash these only so nothing comes apart. But look at how adorable that is. Such a fun wine stopper. This would make such a great gift. Maybe a part, a crafting party idea. I totally, totally, Love this. So there's the first example. Now let's try one using acrylic and silicone. Oop. So we're gonna take this part off again and we're gonna bead on. Now these 20 millimeter beads take up a little bit more room. So I'm only gonna put three on this one. And I'm doing that because I really wanna use this matte gold leopard bead on here because I think it's really pretty. So let me show you for an example, I was telling you some beads are harder to get on. So this is a 12 millimeter coral bubble bead. And although the hole is decent, it just doesn't really wanna go on. So I just didn't use it. I found that the rhinestones are about the same. So maybe avoid trying to put rhinestones or some of those. I definitely wouldn't try to do pearls. But the stardust in 12 millimeter fits on there great. And then this 20 millimeter slides right on. And I decided to add one silicone because I really like this color. This is the light aqua. And I thought that it paired really nice. So we've got golden white and light aqua and it keeps the silicone I think on the end is nice because it keeps them pretty snug. And then you just twist it back on. And the fun thing is, is it's so easy to take on and off. So you could make one, um, then you could take it off. You could make another. You could do a Christmas themed one, an Easter themed one, a St. Patrick's Day, a birthday. You could get a silicone letter. You could write out mom. You could do whatever you want. And there's so many options with these keychains or keychains with these wine stoppers. These are amazing. They're such a fun thing to make, super easy and a cool gift idea. Don't forget, you can find these mini bead boards as well on the website, myprettyposhprincess.com. It takes up a little bit less room when you're working on smaller projects like this. I totally love the mini bead boards and everything that you need to make your own amazing wine stoppers. Order today, myprettyposhprincess.com.